This is Adam Kerner with CAD Artisans and I'm going to be using SubAssembly Studio 2012 to demonstrate how to create a simple two-layer lane subassembly with the upper layer super elevated. So I've taken the liberty of creating a subassembly catalog and adding a new lane subassembly to it and I've also set up some of the parameters that we'll use to control the geometry of the subassembly. I still need to set two of these here for the uh, targets. We'll set an elevation target which can be used to override the slope and super elevation to control the upper outside point elevation and then we'll set an offset target that can be used to override the width. So now that that's set, uh, we need to go ahead and add our upper layer. So we'll add a structural layer component, and uh, we'll need to set some codes. We'll set the shape code to pave, and we'll just hard code these, uh, but you could also set these up to, uh, to reference uh, par variables or parameters if you wanted to. Uh, the upper link should be top and pave, and the lower link in this case will be base. Uh, we also need to set our geometry. So we'll reference our uh, pavement depth, and we'll apply a negative modifier to make that go in the down direction that will control the depth of this layer. Uh, we'll need to set up our slope so we'll map that through to our slope parameter and then uh, we'll need to set super elevation. We can either uh, set super elevation uh, hard code to any of these values or uh, we can go ahead and use the, uh, the parameter that was set up to allow the user to change that at runtime. So uh, then we also need to set the width Go and just reference our lane width parameter. Scroll down, set up our targets. We have an elevation target and we have an offset target. So now that that's done, we now have our upper layer. Uh, next step is we need to create our uh, lower layer. So we'll come in here to structural, go to sub layer, and uh, we have to do an additional step here and we have to set the uh, reference uh, objects for this, uh, this layer. So our, our reference point here. Our, uh, which will be our upper left point will be number two. Our upper right point or upper outside will be number three. And in this case, our link that we'll reference here will be number three. And that will allow it to complete the shape for the base. Uh, we'll also hard code our codes here. So base and our lower link will hard code to datum. And then just set the uh, geometry here. Our depth. In base depth with a negative modifier applied, make it go in the down direction. And our slope, we're going to use a, a different slope from what we use for the upper layer. And so we'll set that, and there's nothing else to set, so we'll just say OK to this. And we now have uh, our subassembly complete and ready to go. So the next step is to export this out to uh, use in Civil 3D. We have the option of exporting it as either uh, you, know, you can support any of these versions of Civil 3D. We're going to pick 2012. We can export this as a zip or a PKT. I'm going to pick zip because it will allow us to uh, deploy here automatically. So we'll go and export this. Process is done. We just now uh, deployed it. Switch over to Civil 3D in the content browser. We'll add the catalog, browse to it, and it is right here. Open that up, drag that into a palette, and we'll go ahead and open our, uh, our drawing here. And this drawing was set up with just an arbitrary uh, alignment and profile super elevations already set, and then we have an uh, assembly down here. So we'll take our new lane, and here's all the uh, parameters that we had set up for that. We'll just leave those at the defaults for a right, and then we'll do the left. Zoom back out. Create a simple corridor. And we'll go ahead and map our, um, our right-hand side to that offset target that was set up in there. Let's say OK to that. And now we can select that object, and we can look at that in the object viewer. And you can see there is a corridor that has a varying uh, width on this side. Uh, you can see the uh, the different uh, slopes on uh, on these uh, different layers, and that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.